Turn the camera off and he catches a good one. <laughs> That's good. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Turner Fishing. This is Steven Turner. So a lot of you know my truck's been at the same shop for like six months. I do want to put my motor in. I can't find a motor lift and I can't justify spending more money because I've already spent money to put the, the motor in. Anyway, finally got a chance to get out on the lake with Daddy, the crappy man. We went out there, straight smoked him. Got a good video for y'all. Gonna do something a little bit different. I didn't do a lot of commentating while I was filming itself, so I'm gonna try to commentate a little bit throughout the video by editing through it. Just to go in our mindset about fall fishing, we are basically junk fishing. I mean, we were catching fish and the biggest fish we caught was about 16 inches and uh, he caught him in about three foot of water. And I'm not making that up. I mean, it was on the bank. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you want to get a pair of these, you know, right here. Some waterlands. Dude, I'm telling you, first day out on the water yesterday, these were amazing. I mean, I had no problems with them. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I literally wear these glasses all day. 15% off. Use code Turner Fishing. Link's down in the description below. Make sure y'all go get some jigs because he whooped my butt today on Crappy Man Green and I was trying out different colors that we've been messing with. But anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe. Smash the like button for me. fall we like to check out pretty shallow brush piles right off the bat these right here are about 10 to 15 foot you got him now we only called a few off that so as we move down this bank we uh fish some pretty deep ones about 20 to 30 foot and we ended up coming up here right on the bank as you see from the clip i'm getting ready to go to a new spot so i shut the camera off and that's always when you catch the good one so check this out turn the camera off and he catches a good one <laughs> that's a good man bro donkey it's a hee so we ended up going to Clouds Creek. I think we caught two there, uh, but they just weren't in there. So we decided to go to Blacks because the wind was really bad at Big Man's. So we went and checked it out. So 
So at this moment in time, we've probably got 20 something crappy from all the spots that we've hit. Didn't get to record all of them because I mean the wind was just crazy that day. So we pulled out the big man's. We were originally tied on the right side of it, but I figured out by just dipping my live scope in the water that the fish were stacked on the other side. Well, on under, pretty much under the boat. So we took the chance and we moved to the other side and he just started laying the hammer on me. I couldn't catch up with it. A little bit. Oh yeah. Some bullshit you made. Huh? Like monkey milk with some silver on the top or something. I ain't never seen it before. I tried to use. <laughs> it worked. Yeah. That time anyway. <laughs> yeah, I've been pissed. You broke it too.
Spanked by the old man. Oh, you caught one. Yeah. <laughs> they were going everywhere. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> they started going everywhere. <laughs> I thought we done scared them. <laughs> fishermen get a bad name so that's why bass fishermen get a bad name yeah they're gonna do a loose opportunity to finish that fishing on third cell jig in the middle jig huh jig in the middle yeah I forgot how to get him in the boat. Um, hey. Man. <laughs> oh, I got him. Oh, uh, eight foot. 